Yeah, exactly. All right, so we're going to make, I know everybody's busy, uh, so we're going to make quick order of our meeting tonight. Uh, let's convene the meeting at uh, 7, 19.03 hours. Uh, I am here, i uh, take a quick roll call, Chris Metaskey, Karen McGovern, Eric Graff, Joe Lasella, and Mike Maglione are all present. We will uh, do a quick Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag, to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, nation under God, God invisible, liberty, liberty, and justice for all. <clears throat> all right, so just going to go through what we need to do is we need to approve the, from our last, um, you know, motion to approve the minutes of the September 16th minutes. I make a motion to approve the minutes from September 16th. My second. Okay. Any discussion on the minutes? No. Does anybody have any discussion on the minutes? Having no discussion, uh, so moved. Uh, next uh, item. Uh, will be approved the meeting dates for 2022. Uh, basically, what we need to do is submit um, our meeting dates in our location for 2022. So we had uh, last year kind of voted on having the, the, the meeting in the minutes the third Thursday of each month. Um, the only thing we probably need to do is look at a calendar, make sure there's no holidays, make sure nobody's on vacation. Um, there's only three of us. Hopefully we could get two board members. Mike, maybe we could, uh, I'm going to try and speak to the boss. Yeah. Talk to the boss about doing that. Just because if one of us can't make it, then we can't, we can't, uh, we don't meet quorum. Right. So it's a problem. But if, um, if we're good with the third Thursday, uh, of each month and we could always probably do zoom for the short term, I'd love to do in person when we can and when we have a full committee. Uh, Joe uh, Lacella had offered up the EMS uh, training facility, which is on Corm Avenue and um, Shelton Avenue over by the library. So if, if that works for everyone as a better location than the Pine Rock Fire Department, I'm certainly good with that. Okay. Yeah, that's so fine. Fine, so if we just wanna uh, have a motion to ha keep the, the um, meetings at uh, 7 o'clock, 7 p.m., third Thursday of each month, and we'll have them at the uh, Shelton EMS training facility. Mm -hmm. So I make a motion to have our commission meetings the third Thursday of each month at 7 p.m. at the, um, the uh, EMS uh, training facility. That's the St. Joe's School, right? Is that the St. Joe's School? Yes. Yeah. Yes. That, that was a second, Karen? Yes. Second it. I second it. <laughs> Any discussion on the third Thursday at the uh, training facility? Mm -hmm. Any other dis no discussion? All those in favor? Excuse me if I say an aye. 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 Okay, so moved. So that's it. So Joe, we'll, thank you for having us at the uh, training facility. Um, I think it's probably more of a central location for everyone. And depending on the next, the other two people that come on board, that'll that'll be good. Um, old business. Do we have any old business? I don't think we have really any old business. Joe, the only old, only thing on the old business was uh, Yale. You were just going to ever, you were going to keep us posted how that was going about transporting people to Yale and make your recommendations to use Griffin and Bridgeport, St. V's. You haven't, you haven't had any issues with. Oh, it's um, actually been really good. Um, it's, it's definitely uh, been a lot lighter lately, um, which, which is, which is helpful because our volume has really been um, overwhelming some days. So um, it is helpful um, that most people are, you know, using the, uh, more low for facilities. Okay, good. Any other old business? I don't think there's any other old business. What happens if they do want to go to Yale? 
uh, we end up taking them to Yale. Um, you know, if, if, if somebody wants to go to Yale, they were, uh, you know, a, a physician that they use there. Sometimes we get a lot of people that are just traveling through town. They may not know of any other hospitals. So the one hospital they may be familiar with is, uh, is, is Yale. So yeah. uh, if anybody has a, you know, a pre-existing medical condition, a physician, they've already seek treatment there in the past. Um, you know, absolutely. You know, we go there mm -hmm. and, you know, take the patients. We try to accommodate everyone to the best of our ability. Right. A lot of times we'll get asked if we go to Waterbury or St. Mary's or Hartford. We, we don't. Mm -hmm. It's just, it's just too far for, for oh, yeah. outside. That our area. Oh, absolutely. Okay. Uh, any other old business? Moving on to new business. In new business, um, we have the 2022 uh, budget, and I sent that to to everyone. Uh, Mike, thank you for sending that over to me. Um, one thing to note on the budget, uh, and I also sent the correspondence um, from Southwest Regional uh, Communication Center, which was also from um, Mr. Maglione. And the increase for, from Southwest Regional Communication Center is $103,823.82. That is what they were going to bill uh, the city of Shelton for the Southwest Regional Communications. Obviously, um, that is a small increase. It's not a large increase. I think, uh, Mike, the budget last year was... 97,580. So you're talking about a, about a, almost a $6,000 increase or so. The actually, actually, excuse me, Chris. Go ahead. Last year, the actual cost to the city was 115,520. Okay. The okay. Um, previous commission didn't uh, use the proper number when they submitted the budget. Uh, but however, that's been covered by the city this year. Uh, so the, uh, the EMS dispatch cost is paid in full as we speak today. Uh, the new number is 103,823, which is actually a round figures, $12,000 uh, reduction. And the reason that number was up to 115 was that the city decided to tax the dispatch center. So the dispatch center just added in the tax to the cost back to the city. So it was a wash. Okay. Just so you have some background on that. So Mike, just the, the budget that you, that you submitted to us was, um, I have it printed here for dispatch was 97,580. Right. That was the figures that went in last year, but the actual cost was 115,520. Okay, so we're looking. We're looking at. Obviously, we need to submit this budget back, right? After yep. we approve it, we want to approve it. Obviously, for the figure that we're going to be billed, which would be the hundred three thousand eight twenty three eighty two. That's the correct. Okay, and in the in the budget, the there's a line item for uh, personnel training, and if you look through the budget, it's for. Um, it spells out a few things. It was a little odd, like nutrition, nutrition, health training from the commissioner. So the commissioners could use that for training. There's $1,500 for clerical. And then there was a um, uh, amount that we used to pay VEMS, which is no longer in the budget because as you know, in January, we're going to be having the paramedics um, respond right from Shell and EMS. Uh, and not not using VEMS, so that was re removed from the budget. It was it was my wish to keep it in the budget and to give it to Shell and EMS. I talked to the mayor about that. He wants them to be self sufficient um, and go for grants, et cetera, et cetera. So um, he doesn't want to put that back into the budget. So as as of right now, the the three thousand for the personal training is fine. The 1500 is fine. 
the 97,580. We need to adjust that to the 103, 823, 82. And if we agree on those line items in the budget, I would just need a motion um, to carry that. And then I will get that um, sent back to, uh, to Mike Maglione so he could submit that budget for, for 2022. Okay. So I'll um, make a motion to um, approve the the line item uh, addition that you just mentioned, uh, Chris, and to uh, re resubmit the, the budget as stated. I second it. Okay, so there's a motion in the second to approve the 2022 physical year budget, which will be 103,823.82 for Southwest CMED, 3,000 for personal training, 1,500 for clerical. Any discussion? Nope. Any discussion? Nope. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 So moved. Okay, and Chris, now that I, that's been approved, I will take care of the, uh, uh, the data entry into the budget and submit it to finance for you next week. Okay, I appreciate that, Mike. Thank the, you. The only, the only change is the uh, Southwest Regional Communication, and that figure is the 103, 823. Okay. okay. Um, correspondence. I didn't have anything on the correspondence. Mike, did you want to bring up anything? No. Uh, as Joe said, uh, Echo Hose is as busy as they can possibly get. Uh, they've adjusted their... Uh, uh, their resources uh, to cover, especially in the overnight period. Uh, uh, it's interesting that uh, they're now going into Bridgeport and Monroe and Stratford. Uh, I, I hate to use the word on a regular basis, uh, but it's getting close. Yeah, and, and, and Joe, thank you for, for all your hard work and your team's hard work, obviously on your award that you guys won, that kudos for you. I did mention that to the mayor. Uh, one of the reasons why I wanted to see if we could get you some funding because of all the other things that you are doing, not on top of the calls that you do for Shelton. So we do appreciate that. Um, well, as, a, as, a, as a note that I know, and, and Joe, you know firsthand, that there is a big shortage on paramedics and EMS staff. COVID obviously is really back to, uh, to haunt us. The hospitals are feeling it. Um, and the, the amount of mutual aid that every town is experiencing uh, is, is significant. So um, thank you for that. I don't think that th there's gonna be a change in that in any time soon. It could probably get worse before it gets better. And certainly if you need anything um, because of that, because of COVID, uh, any resources, I talked to the mayor about it. Mike's here to obviously support you. We're here to support you. So anything that we, we potentially need to do for you, please uh, feel free to, uh, to let us know. Thank you very much, Jim. We appreciate it. And, you know, uh, I'll be happy to give you an update when the time comes in, in the, the meeting here, but we appreciate all the support. Thank you very, very much. Thanks, Joe. Yeah, so Joe, if you want to give us a quick recap, then uh, we're, we're in a good place. Okay, thank you. Um, so I'm actually here with Chief Chafee. Um, so he just uh, arrived uh, from work himself. And uh, so he is here sitting next to me. And um, we just want to let you know, we're, we're very grateful for the commission's support. Thank you so much um, for all the nice letters, emails from the commission, as well as the city, the mayor, um, Mr. Representative uh, Simonetti, Alderman Simonetti. He, he wrote a very nice letter in the uh, Shelton Herald about Echo Hose Ambulance. And we're so grateful. So thank you very much for all the support. Um, we really do appreciate it, especially during these high volume times. It really does mean a lot to, to our crews um, with the, you know, with the support. Um, it, it's been a tough year and uh, we're, we're doing everything we do to keep, keep uh, you know, ensuring that we are on scene quickly and, and, and able to, to get to everyone who needs us all the time as best to our ability. Um, we're seeing average call volume of 20 plus calls a day. Uh, right now for the month of December, we're tracking for 600 calls for the month of December. Um, before the pandemic, the busiest month we've ever had was 489 calls. 
And that was a rare occurrence before the pandemic. Um, so we are quite busy and the hospitals are busy, which means it takes longer for our crews to get into the hospital and turn over patient care. Um, so it's kind of a ripple down effect. So our crews are doing an amazing job, our volunteers, our, 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 our staff members, and I can't thank them enough. I know Chief Chafee feels the same way. Um, we're, we're very grateful for their support. Um, a couple of events that happened in the community. We just had a career fair last night for EMS agencies. We, we hosted it. We had 13 different employers there with EMT students from around the state, paramedics from around the state that came into the career fair. Um, we had a uh, one of our uh, volunteer uh, members, uh, team members. He actually ran a 24-hour run, a charity run for Echo Hose Ambulance. He split the proceeds with Echo Hose Ambulance and a, an injured EMT from Seymour. Uh, his name was Josh. He, um, he raised almost $6,500. He ran for 24 hours, over 60 miles, um, you know, to help Echo Hose Ambulance and, and, a, and a colleague of ours, the injured EMT, uh, Josh from Seymour. So we're very grateful for his efforts and all he did, as well as the crews that went out and anyone who donated and supported that. Um, we had our annual fun drive. We're very grateful for our community for supporting us with that. We are in the process of uh, purchasing new paramedic vehicles. We finally got our uh, hands on some vehicles. We've been shopping around since September. We finally came across a dealership that has a uh, public safety model um, Dodge Durango. So we'll be purchasing those uh, Durangos and putting them in service, hopefully by uh, February, March timeframe, by the time they arrive and get lettered and, and radios. Um, we are uh, hiring additional staff to meet the demand. As uh, Chris Matasky had mentioned, we did up staff to a second ambulance on the overnights. It's very expensive, um, but it's something that we needed to do um, because we, the volume is, is there. Um, we're seeing some nights, six, seven, eight calls between midnight and 6 a.m. Uh, so we are, you know, the resources uh, are definitely helping um, since we've added that. So we're, we're grateful for all our team members who are picking up those shifts and helping out to do that. So things are going really well. Thank you again for all the support. Or I wish you all a very happy and healthy holiday. Thank you. Thank you, Joe. Thank Thanks, you Joe. Uh, to Mr. Chafee. Um, all right. Anybody have anything else to, to add to the meeting? No. Then uh, as well, I wish everybody a very happy and, and healthy, safe holiday and new year. And we will see you guys in January. Joe, don't feel shy to shout out if you need us for anything. Um, and we'll just take a motion to adjourn. And make a motion to adjourn this meeting. I second that. Okay. All those in favor, signify, signify by saying aye. 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 aye now. I've, there's my Merry, Merry the Christmas background. and Happy New Year. Yeah, yeah. Merry, Merry Christmas. Happy holidays, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Thanks again. Take care. Thanks. Stay well. Bye. -bye. Bye. Take Bye care. Now. Okay, I can leave. Uh.